DA is holding its virtual elective conference at the end of the month. John Stiernhazen and KZN MPL Mbalin Tuli will be going for the top job, the position of party leader. And Tuli joins me now from Durban. A very good morning to you. So congratulations on that. What do you think you might bring to the leadership? Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, I'm hoping that I'll be able to bring a sense of renewal for the Democratic Alliance brand. I think we've had a number of hard years and I think that people are really looking for something new and fresh in politics. I'm hoping that certainly the way that I've been running the campaign, which has been different for the DA, um, and I think it's been a, a bringing a lot of excitement. We'll show people that that's exactly what I want to do about politics in this country. I want to really disrupt the way that we've been doing politics because I think that we're all tired of the status quo. I think that we're all tired of the impunity through which we see ourselves being treated. And I think both the DA needs a shake up, but more importantly, South African politics needs a shake up. So I'm hoping to bring that along with great ideas and obviously reaching out to all sectors of society to come on board and help me if I become the leader, because I think that we need all South Africans at this point to really change our country. And what about unity within the party and changing the sort of image that it portrays? I think that that's incredibly important and it starts at the top. It starts with the way that the leader tries to inculcate the culture and that's why I've run my campaign on the slogan of kind, strong and fair because I really think that there have been some things that have happened in the party that have left us feeling all a little bit bruised and all needing some internal healing and I've been very vocal about what some of those things are and how I want to change them. Um, but unity will be a big part of what any leader will have to do to get the party focused and moving forward. Um, and I really think that I'm the candidate that's going to be able to bring that. I haven't been in the leadership. I'm not part of the establishment. So I don't bring any of that baggage. And I think for certainly people in the party who might be looking just to start new and to show that the DA is a party that cares and wants to include all South Africans, I would be the best choice. Uh, I mean, I think it's fair to say that the DA has uh, suffered greatly over the last couple of years, hemorrhaging members, high-level members. Do you, in your heart of hearts, though, think that you really do stand a chance this time against John Stiernhazen? Is the party ready for you, or are you just putting yourself up there so that at least you are up there, possibly for the next time round? This campaign has been nine months. It started in February, you know, in October. I don't think anyone who didn't really want to fight and to try and really try and win all delegates would still be in this race. I've been running this race for almost half my daughter's life. I'm incredibly serious. And I think it's important that people know that I really believe that with myself and a good team in the Democratic Alliance going towards next year's election and in the future, the DA might just have a chance of getting people that have never looked at us before to look at us again or to look at us for the first time. And I think that anyone that's watching and that's a delegate should take that as something that's very strong because people don't just vote on good governance. People don't vote on track records. They vote for a party that excites them, a leader that's relatable to people. And I think that I have those skills. And I mean, we'll have to see what the delegates think. I know that I'm running against an incumbent who does have uh, quite a long lead start in terms of being somebody who's been able to access delegates for a long time. But I mean, this is politics. The entire job is to try and convince people that you're the best person. So I'm in it for the long haul. I know a lot of people thought I would have dropped out by now, but it's because I seriously believe that what I'm putting on the table and what I have to offer is something that will get the party really moving again in the direction that will excite South Africans. And that for me is primarily what we need to do. It's not just about an internal election. What we need is we need to have someone who can go out and show South Africans that they can believe in the DA again um, and really get them on board because without that... Okay, we are sorry, not let me just jump in here. Apologies, we've got uh, time issues. Up for grabs as well as the DA federal <clears throat> court chair position. Helen Ziller's in the running for that. I mean, she's been rather quiet at the moment. I mean, it's also about policy. You know, it's about uh, policy that's realistic and so much needs to change. We've seen, uh, you know, you'd think that the DA was the best at self, you know, at imploding, but I think the ANC has overtaken you from that. How do you think your policy, what is it that you're going to put forward on the economy, for example, so that you can take those members that the ANC is losing? I think our economic offer has to fundamentally be about what we can do for South Africans, and that's a lot of things. And I've put forward as a candidate that I think we need to look at a stakeholder economy that looks at changing things like spatial inequality, that looks at making sure that all people who are currently disadvantaged by our past are able to be redressed, and that we use the policies that we have adopted in terms of the SDG well, framework, I suppose, to be able to speak to South Africans about the bread and butter issues that affect them. I think sometimes the DA has been very academic and very high strung in terms of the jargon they use, and that doesn't matter to or 
to mama unengane ning is that crash we need to be able to speak to people about the issues that affect them in a way that is authentic and resonates with them. So I've said in terms of the economy, we need to speak about how we can bring jobs, how we can open the sectors, how we can be more business friendly to incentivize people to be able to have that space and to get those businesses to be in townships and rural areas and villages where there are no economic hubs. And if the Democratic Alliance can speak to that, if we can speak to the township economy, if we can speak to making sure that people don't feel scapegoated in this country and feel included and that they'll get help from the governments to be able to run these things, then we've got a fighting chance. But I also want to speak about the climate. I want to speak about animal rights. And I've put a lot of constitutional amendments to my party in the, in that I think, <coughs> sorry, that we should be um, focusing on a wider variety of things that affect South Africans on a daily basis. Um, and not just always about things like SAA, for example, or you know the austerity of the budget because those are things that people don't understand but if i can Volume speak to Tully, a book if i can uh, cut you off there i mean obviously i'd like to talk to you closer to the time to find out to get into the nitty-gritty to find out how you're going to make all of this happen but the best of luck and good talking to you thank you